in this video, I'm going to demonstrate how syncing works on Penly app. So this Samsung tablet has my planner in it, and I'm going to sync this planner onto my other Android tablet over here. So first thing I'm going to do is go into settings. So tap on the settings icon at the top right corner here, and then go down to this section called sync and under cloud service, just tap this drop down arrow here and then tap on Google Drive and sign into Google Drive. So depending on how many files you have in your app and how much is in your files, this process might take a couple of minutes. So let's just wait until this part is finished. And this is only for the first time. OK, so this process has finished. So I'm just going to tap on OK. So now I'm going to set up my other device for syncing. OK, so on this device, I'm going to do the same. So tap on the settings icon and then under cloud service, tap on Google Drive and then sign in once again. And when you get this syncing displayed without a progress bar for too long, I would suggest just coming out of the app completely and trying again. So the first time I'm setting up the syncing, I'm getting this prompt here. So when it says resolve sync conflict, this will generally happen when you have um, differences in the same file between the local copy, which is the one on this tablet and the cloud copy, which is um, the one that I pushed to the cloud from this device earlier. So generally, if you get this prompt, you can choose which file you need. And if you're not sure, I suggest keep both. So here you have a drop down and you can pick. So I'm just going to tap on keep both and then tap on OK. Otherwise, you should tap on Keep Local if you want to keep the version that you have on your current device, and this will overwrite the version you saved previously on the cloud. If you want to replace the local file on your current device with the one on the cloud, say if that version has the changes that you want to keep, then tap on Keep Cloud, and this will bring the cloud version onto your current device, and you will lose the local file. And now I'm back in my dashboard and now you can see this file has appeared. So this is the file that I synced over from this tablet here. OK, so now I'm going to show you how syncing works generally. So I'm going to make a change on this page. So let's just do that. And then to sync, you see this icon up here. Just tap on this sync icon. And whilst this is syncing, just wait. Don't do anything on your other tablet. OK, and now we're going to pull those changes onto this tablet over here. So this same sync button here, I'm going to tap on this. And now you see my changes has been reflected on this planner as well. And just to demonstrate on this tablet here. So tap on the sync button and you can also do this when you're in the dashboard. So I can come out here into this view and then there's a sync button here as well. And then on my other tablet. OK, so now I'm going to show you some other scenarios. So here I'm going to create a folder and move my file in there. So I'm going to move this planner file into that folder. And I'm going to go in and make another change. And then I'm going to tap on the sync button. OK, and then I'm going to go onto my other tablet. So I wanted to demonstrate this because when I tap the sync button on here, you're going to get a, a prompt message. It says that the planner file has been moved, renamed or deleted on the cloud. And because I know I moved this file, I'm going to tap on confirm and that just confirms the move. And here you can see that that file has moved into this notes folder and my changes have come through as well. Now, if you want to turn off that notification, you can go into settings. And here, ask before downloading dangerous changes. You can just untick this. And finally, I'm going to show you how you can sync automatically. So go back into the settings and here, sync each time app is opened or closed. If you check this box, it will sync automatically every time you open or close the app and you don't have to tap on the sync button. So now I'm just going to make a change. My file is looking like a mess now. Um, so I'm not going to press the sync button. I'm just going to come out of the app. And you don't have to come out of the app completely. You can just come out of it. So, so let's say you're using a different app. And you can see the syncing progress in your notifications. And you have to wait until that notification is gone until you can carry on with your other device. So now I'm just going to head over to my other device. So on your other device, you need to enable automatic syncing as well as I showed earlier. And then now when I open the app, this should sync automatically without me having to hit that button. And you can see the changes have come through.
So I only ever recommend automatic syncing if you would never use two devices at the same time. If you're going to be using two devices at the same time, potentially, I recommend doing the manual sync. 